efectivamente eh, este proyecto the project that we're working on together with Eddie Avila from Rising of Voices and other colleagues that I hope will join us is set up to act as a benchmark, as a resource for activists working in their own languages in their different indigenous contexts and that require the use of digital tools. And although we're still in the process of configuring everything for the toolkit, the idea is that this toolkit have different compartments, let's say, in which the activists, the digital activists, the indigenous digital activists will be able to select those tools that work for them and that are helpful to them so that they can be so that they can do their job more efficiently so that they can promote the use of indigenous languages more efficiently aunque la mayor parte de las experiencias que por lo menos a mí me ha tocado conocer y documentar corresponden based on my own experience most of the cases that we've been working on have been for latin america basically with the work that we have to do with Spanish. But we know that there are many ways in which we can teach indigenous languages in all of our continents, be it in North America with our brothers and sisters from the Canadian First Nations or our brothers and sisters from the indigenous communities in the U.S. And so if they are ever interested in helping us out with the toolkit, we'd be happy to have their collaboration. And we've also been working with uh, the possibility of talking to African communities, as well as with Southeastern Asia. If anybody is interested, we're, we'd be happy to work with them. We're trying to configure that type of um, input as well. One of the things that we're doing with the toolkit is to identify interesting practices, inspiring practices that can help with sustainability in teaching indigenous languages when using digital means. This toolkit, therefore, would have these compartments, let's say, that you could take advantage of, as well as suggestions, so that you can analyze the situation. As Isela said, that way you can analyze your projects, analyze what you're doing, and determine what would be best for individuals, what would be best for community groups, and so on, and possibly even to see what you could do in public contexts, such as universities or uh, friendship houses or municipal governments, for example. The instrument proposes not just the use of technolo technological tools, which is perhaps the most appealing at this point in time, but also things that are easily adapted by indigenous language speakers in rural communities. It will also include tools that could be used by indigenous, indigenous language speakers in rural as well as urban areas. We have not just considered the use of social media, but also considered the use of practical things that can be provided to teams when, for example, as is often the case, internet connections are not exactly very reliable. Yesterday, for example, we had issues with a virtual forum in which I was participating with these technologies, which are very promising, but we would often have problems with the connection, with the internet connection. So there are a lot of very creative ways in which groups, indigenous groups and, individu and indigenous individuals are finding ways to overcome their limitations. And although it's not ideal to have these lies, these types of limitations, that the creativity of our indigenous groups is seen in the way in which we find to overcome all of these problems. And that's very inspiring. It's also a way to contribute. It's an indigenous contribution to the use of technology. We know that we need more digital literacy, as you've all heard, but it's also true that the peoples, that the indigenous peoples 
have found ways to overcome their problems. They're looking, they're finding practical solutions, innovative solutions to all of these challenges. So that's something else that we hope to do. The toolkit would also include planning elements, as I already referred to. For example, the importance of understanding the available infrastructure, how you can use available media, um, the establishment of strategic partnerships, which is something that somebody else already referred to, and the importance of visualizing the possible participation of the public. Casey, JC rather, referred to the fact that there are individuals who are interested in encouraging the use of indigenous languages, but we also have to find a way to help them not feel worn out and, and tired. It's also important to find a way to deal with that and to explain how all of us can delegate perhaps some of our activities. And that's something that we hope to include in our toolkit as well. Ideally, in any type of initiative of this type, we should try to encourage the, the possibility of using our right to express ourselves in, in our indigenous languages, not just for the cult cultural expressions, but also because of the need to have quality services, to have informed public policies based on what we need, as well as the right to take part in the public decisions that are being reached for our own uh, purposes. Another toolkit compartment would be the legal side of everything, how we can legally encourage the use of our languages and to have a better understanding of what should be done and what we should require from the authorities in each one of our countries. These, all of these efforts also have a very touchy subject, which is how to evaluate the impact because everything we do has an impact, and that is something that is always subject to discussion. And so this toolkit will include that element, not so much as, as in the sense of it will not be providing a recipe of things that can be done all over the world in this exact same manner, rather to find a series of flexible mechanisms or different techniques that can be used to be able to follow up on the multiple impact that our efforts might have because sometimes it, those effects might be invisible. So we have to find a way to measure all of that. And the way in which we hope to explain to people what we're doing is to take advantage of the internet. Uh, we will probably also be finding ways to creating analog uh, kits, print kits, let's say, hard copy kits at a low cost, but no, not low quality, in order to make sure that the tools can reach as many people as possible all over the world for the people who really want it. And of course, something else that would be very interesting would be for us to incorporate the talent of all of the activists, indigenous activists in all of these digital efforts in order to make sure that we are communicating their work as well as the suggestions and strategies that they can use and that will be included in this toolkit. So hopefully we will be able to use these digital networks as much as possible with the collaboration and the interest of everybody, of those who are, are already working on this and who want to improve your digital production.